Big mover today, Moderna getting a boost after the company and Merck announced they will jointly develop and sell personalized cancer vaccines to treat those with high-risk melanoma. The collaboration goes all the way back to 2016 when both companies agreed to create vaccines to treat a variety of cancers. Other news helping Moderna stock today is the FDA's authorization to administer its Omicron booster to kids ages 6 through 17. Joining me now is Michael Yee from Jeffries. Always a skeptic on Moderna, has a hold rating. Just, just in terms of, of this news, I want to try to understand this right because I think it's a little misleading. As I understand it, Michael, it's for people with high-risk melanoma or skin cancer. So, first of all, does that mean it's a treatment? You, you get the shot if you already have melanoma or does it prevent it? Uh, sure. To clarify on that point, uh, realizing that the important data still is to come. So they're doing this partnership announcement uh, just before the data. Uh, but the treatment is for uh, post-surgery in an adjuvant setting. After you removed uh, the tumor lesion from your skin, you would administer Keytruda plus the personalized cancer vaccine to prevent metastatic melanoma from returning. So it is an adjuvant setting. Uh, once you remove the skin lesions. So it is more of a treatment than a vaccine, which is which is sort of what I wanted to clear up for people. Yeah, it, so it treatment to prevent the tumors from coming back. Yeah. From coming back. Okay. Which is what Keytruda does as well, the drug that, that Merck has been doing, and it's been working in melanoma. So my question to you is, what kind of market is this? Because Perfect. as I understand it, most people that get melanoma survive. It's not necessarily a high-risk situation. Sure. Uh, so I think there's two components. One is uh, there is a market opportunity certainly to prevent uh, melanoma from coming back. Uh, the melanoma, metastatic melanoma market certainly is a couple billion dollars. So uh, there are a lot of patients with melanoma. But more importantly for investors and for the Moderna platform, which we have talked about in the past, which is important to opening up new revenue opportunities beyond COVID, is the opportunity that Merck believes there is potential to use it in melanoma, but a broader uh, uh, array of different cancers uh, that extends the power of the platform. And I think that's the important read through today. Appreciating the data are still to come. So do you think this move is justified? Stocks up 9%. Yeah. Uh, well, for, first of all, I think uh, the data are still to come. Our call and what we wrote in our note today is that I think that the data uh, is going to be promising enough for the companies to move forward into larger studies and potentially more tumor types. So I don't think we've heard the end of the uh, program. And I do think there's going to be more investment to be made here. We do believe Merck and Moderna had information here in this open label study. However, what I would say is that short term, I do think the stock is going to pull back because I do think that the Q3 earnings uh, look problematic. We've been saying the consensus is too high, over $4 billion for the quarter. This really has to do with the shipment of the vaccine, the BA45, which didn't get moving until the end of September. It's going to be a real back-ended uh, year to hit the 22 guidance. So in the short term, I do think there's still some concern around the COVID deliveries. However, like I've said before, Sarah, once we get below that $40 billion, stock pulls back. There's other, other stuff like the cancer vaccine, some of their stuff we'll be talking about next year. Okay, that makes sense to me. What, what's happening with the boosters and, and the take-up of these Omicron-specific yeah. boosters, which continue, as I said, today even, getting new authorizations? Are people getting them? Yeah. Well, uh, there's a sell uh, uh, through, right, uh, it, it, which is they're shipping it as fast as they can uh, to countries. That includes the U.S. and broadly. Uh, remember, the BA45 didn't get shipped to uh, the government until mid-September, which makes the third quarter problematic. However, there's a problem because, as you know, and there's different numbers out there, I think only 12 million or so uh, injections have been done with the new BA45, which obviously represents just a fraction uh, of the people in the U.S. and a fraction of the people who took the last booster. So because infections are super low, because society obviously is back out uh, in full uh, uh, um, uh, unmasked situations, you know, people don't feel they need to get the boost. I do think infections will start to go up. You are seeing it in Europe. I do think uptake will start to occur into the winter. But again, this is already understood. And I think people want to move on beyond the COVID booster numbers, uh, Sarah, to think about Moderna stock and what other stuff there's got to be out there.